humate is a decomposed animal and plant life. When you go and do the makeup of it, it's, a, it's, a, it's an incredible molecule that makes up the humate. Native Americans have been using it as a growing medium for a long, long time. And it has a lot of different uh, capabilities. Uh, one is um, for the uh, uh, organic uh, fertilizer. Two is for restoring uh, contaminated soils to bring them back to life to grow uh, uh, crops again. And, and we've actually done studies with the um, Idaho National Laboratory in Idaho Falls, and we were able to show that we could actually contain radioactive waste using the humate as a barrier. Uh, I also want the record to reflect that Mr. Jones is here testifying based on the recommendation and you said it of the Oil Spill Recovery Institute and your proposals have been backed by engineers and scientists at the University of Oklahoma so it's had a good deal of vetting. We've been working closely with the University of Oklahoma and the gentleman behind me, Dr. Mark Nanny, to come up with solutions to use our product for soil remediation. It's environmentally safe, it's certified organic, it improves the soil structure and adds nutrients. Um, Dr. Nanny has received EPA funding over the past several years to study our product there in Norman, Oklahoma for strictly soil remediation and oil contaminated soils. To date, um, we have been working very, very hard to try to uh, have the Coast Guard and BP and different um, uh, organizations review our proposal, which is called the Organic Solution. Uh, this was supplied to the Coast Guard as a white uh, paper um, approximately two months ago. We have heard back from the Coast Guard and we're told that we are in the screening process. And we really want to try to enlighten the, enlighten the American public, enlighten this committee, that we are ready, willing, and able to implement this technology. I very much appreciate the, the questions directed to uh, uh, Mr. Yellow Horse Jones, and, and uh, I want to welcome him here today. I, I uh, believe you're a geologist from Gallup, New Mexico, and it's great uh, to have you here, and I've been uh, staying very involved in your, your procedure that you put forward. I've read a number of the slides and things, and I think, I think uh, you've put forward the idea uh, that is really the focus of this hearing. How can we take an idea like yours and as, as our uh, chair has, has outlined, have it be effective cleanup and a restoration? And this is what this material that uh, you've come up with does. Is it, it not only uh, helps in the cleanup, but it restores the environment and the ecosystem to where it was before. So we, we need to find a way, um, and I think it's being emphasized in this hearing, to, to take these ideas and take them early on and, and, uh, and get them uh, into, the, into the process so that uh, uh, we can have, a, have an effective cleanup. Well, unfortunately, that's kind of where it stopped. The Coast Guard and the people that were actually involved in, in implementing different processes uh, felt that uh, our product was not um, uh, approved uh, as an emergency response uh, situation to uh, the BP oil spill. Uh, we told them that, uh, hey, we, let's, let's try it. 
uh, let's let's put it down. Let's let's put it down in some areas and let's see where it goes. It's a tough, long, hard road, and it's a very bureaucratic process in dealing uh, with uh, the people in Washington and the powers that be that oversee this stuff. It can be used now. We're not talking years down the road. We need to be getting on an organic program immediately. It's really a shame that the world doesn't know that there's organic solutions to their problems. And we're hoping that getting this information out will enlighten humanity that there is an alternative.